As you may know, Mowgli left Braille and he made this video right here. And I watched over the video and gave my thoughts. But now, NKA has made his own video about Mowgli quitting Braille. And I thought it might be interesting. Maybe there's some new information. Um, and let's watch it. But I gotta say, all the comments on Mo's and my video were very kind and nice to Mowgli. And I think that's very beautiful. So yeah, make sure you go and comment something nice to Mowgli. But you say whatever you want. Also, we, I will read them and respond to them. I haven't watched this 17 minutes and 21 seconds. Not sure what kind of a ride I'm in for, but let's, All right, Jay, so let's who begin. Waiting for? Waiting for Mowgli. Mowgli's taking a sweet old time right now, bro. <laughs> and this is the new skate park in Redondo Beach, I believe. <laughs> Let me see your bottom of your board. Where you riding? Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, that's sick, though. I was gonna bring this out to the Sub dog. Party. Hi. How's it going? Pretty good. Sick. Dang, Neen Williams pro model. <laughs> gonna bless Mowgli right. with a flight board. Sick. So He's gonna Mowgli hook it up. is setting up a new Dang, board. Dang, erasedy? Yep. I'm hooking him up with a Powell flight board for now until he decides what he wants to do. I was actually gonna go buy his a blank. Really? Yeah. And I hit you up before. Yeah, you actually did. I'm like, yo, thumb. save your money, bro. <laughs> Today I was gonna go to the store and buy a blank. Yeah. I didn't even know where you get like money. blanks I from. I saved you really. some dough. I think you saved me more than enough because it's gonna. I can't break this. Yeah, so. it's gonna last you a lot longer than most boards, dude. You know what's funny? A lot of people kept like keep bringing it up. Like I, you know, I would be a good fit for Powell, but it's like I don't know. Like I don't think that's how it works. I think we want him a bit louder, right? Yeah, no matter what, I can keep, I, we, we can keep you skating something so you don't need to buy anything. Yeah. <laughs> you know what <laughs> a I little mean? bit of an awkward sound. And the boards are super good. Okay, so how come, like, what's going on? Why, why, do you, why are you stopping working with Braille? Here we go. Um, I think it's time. Yeah? I've seen a lot over the years. I, you know, you hear a lot of skaters leave. I just want to say, in general, when YouTubers do something or say something, when they make like an announcement video, like the one we watched with Mo, you know, you kind of have the power to really like curate it. You can really write down exactly what you think. I mean, not that I think Mo wrote down what he was going to say, but he has the power to edit it. He has the power to redo it as many times as you want. He has the exact power to the like full control over it. So now what Mowgli is doing is, is a lot more vulnerable because another person is now in charge of how the information is coming out and being presented. So Mo obviously trusts Nigel a lot, but you know, Mo can't, if he says something that he doesn't maybe want to say, he can't really take it back, you know? So this is, you, you, when you see YouTubers on other channels, you usually get a different perspective of them because they can't let sort of like curate it a little bit themselves. Even if it is only minor, like companies, you still mm -hmm. notice and it. And I don't have like a particular reason why, it's just like, I would drive up there four hours, and when I would drive home, it'd be a every week thing. That's to film, though. Yeah. And like, uh, I currently got a new job. It has nothing to do with skateboarding. Yeah. And that's fine. Like, sometimes I, I the way I like to see it is, you do something that you don't love. Yeah. But then when you get that time to do the thing you love, you're gonna do it ten times more. Yeah. Like, out of the passion. I totally agree with that. Okay, so I got something interesting to interject here because for me, skateboarding was my passion for like 20 years and then in the past like three or four years is when I've actually, my, my living is based off skateboarding. And I will say it definitely, absolutely, completely changes the dynamic of the thing that you once love. Because it creates this weird situation, right, where I want to go skating and I want to have fun doing hard tricks. And if I were to not record that, my mind says, dang, Ricky, you should record that because it's part of your job and it would be a waste if you didn't record that. But then I think in my mind, how can me performing my passion, the thing that I love, be a waste in any way? How could that ever be a waste? And that's kind of what happens when you push yourself in this situation where your passion is your job is like it creates all these weird, like complicated emotional situations. And I think that's what Mo has been feeling uh, recently. When it is your job and someone says, hey, you've got to skate, you got to do this, you have to do this right now here, show up at this time and skate this day, it really does change your relationship to it. That's dope though, man. I know you talked to me about this a while ago, so I'm hyped you made the choice to uh, just do what you feel is the right thing for you to do. 
you know? Yeah, like it has nothing to do with Braille. It's just me. Like I have to make a lot of life decisions that yeah. are really important right now. And uh, for the moment, I can't. Like I no longer can make four hour drives. Yeah. If that makes sense. Like in this part of my life, I can't do that anymore. Yeah. Because uh, it requires me to be more at home or like in the this area. Like I know I'm out here in Redondo Beach, but it's closer to home than four hours is. Yeah. A lot of the, like, and I'm gonna just say this, I'll probably say this in my video too. Like a lot of the times when I would drive up there, the main people I would think about is like my mom and my kid. Yeah. So like that's a four hour drive. And like if anything were to ever happen to them, like, yeah. it would just like mentally just, I would think about that in the back of my head. Yeah. And I just didn't want to really lay that on myself, the pressure. Yeah. So over the time, it just felt like I had done everything I could there and I was on contract with their board company so it ended literally just the end of May and yeah. I think it was the perfect time to just part ways like I said I even made it on Instagram like an Instagram post saying I'm thankful for everything they've done for me which I am like yeah. you too you you bridged us together so yeah. not only them but yeah so if you guys don't know is that the Mowgli got the opportunity at Braille through Nigel I believe Aaron said to Nigel hey I'm looking for a new skater and he said oh I know the guy Mowgli is the guy so that's kind of like a cool uh, full circle that Nigel is the one talking to him now. And also Mo said that he is, he said, I probably will say this in my video too. So I guess this was before he recorded his original video. But like, thank you too. Like, yeah, and I know course. you hear me say it all the time, Yeah. but it's like, if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't have had the opportunity. Yeah. No, I'm proud of you, man. <clears throat> I don't nice. think Aaron will be bummed or Bra anyone at Braille will be, will be bummed either. Cause it's like, it's for some real stuff. It's real life stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah like if i could if i could get paid to like skate and make video parts dude i would obviously do that but it's not like that like yeah the reality is different yeah <laughs> doesn't mean i'm gonna stop skating i'm still gonna skate as much as possible yeah learn tricks do new tricks film for video parts go skate with friends just it'll be different yep i feel that <laughs> So how many days a week do you think you're gonna be skating? Every day. Oh, well, not dope. every day, but like <laughs> I, I already know the schedule. The guy told me uh, that I would be working from like six to two, mm -hmm. which gives me a lot of time after six in the morning till two. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Yeah, I know. That's what I was thinking. Oh, well, all right. <laughs> So like Monday it is great Friday? that you get to finish it too, but it Saturday. also means that you Monday, must be Monday, at Monday, work Monday, at Saturday, six. I only have one full day off, which is fine. Yeah. Like I said, I have like to take care of a lot kind of things rough. outside yeah. of skateboarding. That and this is the thing, like as an adult, like you don't really understand how much you put off mm -hmm. until you realize, oh, dude, I have like all these things that I actually have to do, and yeah. I've been putting it off. Yeah. And it's just like a lot of my family needs, not that they need help, but they don't, like some people don't know how to start processes to get things done. Yeah. It's like sometimes you're that guy. Yeah. And if you're, if you're that guy and you're not around, things will never get done. Yeah. I don't know. That's the way I see it though. Word, dude. Making the, the right choices, the big choices. So have you ever skated a flight board? Yeah, the ones you've given me. From back in the day? <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right, if this is just skating, I'm going to cut it right there, Damn. and you can watch yeah. the rest on Nigel's channel. But, I mean, I don't really have too much else to add. That was pretty much it for me. See you next time.